Okay, so thanks for um, thanks for uh, this interview once again. Okay, so for whoever that is watching this uh, particular podcast or this particular interview, uh, I have uh, Akash with us. Okay, Akash was actually uh, a private candidate. Okay, who retook his A levels with us last year. So maybe Akash, okay, would you like to uh, quickly share with us? You know, okay, uh, where are you right now, and 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 uh, you know what course are you pursuing, and you know how are you coping, etc. Yeah, so right now I'm in the University of New South Wales in Sydney, and I'm currently in my first year of medicine. First year of medicine. Okay, so I'll just provide a very brief uh, bio about Akash. Okay, so Akash uh, retook his A-levels with us in, in the second year of service, right? Yeah, and, yes. Uh, I think it was uh, commandos, is it? <laughs> It was, yeah, it was, it it was, was commandos, and then I injured myself. Then I had to drop down to a clerk. Right, right, right. Okay, but it was still, yeah. uh, still uh, a so-called a combat unit. And uh, retook yes. uh, econs with us. So i just like to put in some context, okay, in light with some change in syllabus. Okay, so uh, 2023, Akash retook his uh, econs with us. He can uh, he chose to retook one, retake one subject, right? Yeah, so um, because yes, he's yeah. taking as a H1, okay, so, uh, but 2020, <laughs> 2020, 2025 and 26 onwards will be quite different, especially 2026 onwards, okay, so uh, because of the dropping of uh, one one subject, or rather the fourth subject will not be that important because UAS is computed based on 70 rank points. So when uh, at the point of shooting this or at the point of doing this podcast or this interview, uh, context may change okay so i just encourage viewers who are watching this to you know uh understand what's the change in context so um um 70 rank points is the new norm okay uh a lot of students okay moving on won't be you know uh retaking a h1 econs okay because it don't simply don't make sense so it's going to be a full uh uh, three H twos at one GP uh, retake if they would like to retake their A levels. Okay, but uh, that being said, okay, I just don't want this particular backdrop to to uh to affect okay um your 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 decision making, especially uh private candidates are watching this to affect your decision making. All the um most importantly is just to get the gist of you know okay what can we learn from Akash and what can what can he share about his own experience, strengths and hope when it comes to retaking A levels. So maybe Akash, would you like to share with us your initial uh subject combination? Okay, and uh how are you, how were you like in school? I think it was uh some time back, right? <laughs> maybe oh, you need to re yeah. re recap, refresh your memory. Yeah. So I took uh physics, chem, math, and econs, 4H2 in JC. and 4H2, sir. So. Uh, 4H2, yeah. And then I took a H3 in semiconductor physics and devices. And my in, in JC, I was I was part of the squash team. Right. In which JC are you from? Uh, uh from okay. Tampines, Meridian. Ah, okay. Sorry, yeah. my... I appear to be blurred out <laughs> because I changed the camera. Yes, okay, Tampanese Temper, Meridian JC. So uh, for your juniors, okay, who are watching this, okay, this is a senior speaking from TMJC. So <laughs> you you were part of the, you were you the pioneer batch of the merger or it already happened some time back already? I think you were the third batch. Third the batch, company. right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, today we're not here to discuss a school culture and the merger. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe Akash, I'd just like to invite you to walk down the memory lane. Okay, so uh, um, to make it to to medicine. Okay, uh, we understand that in Singapore is highly competitive, right? Ninety rank points, yes. right? So uh, and we understood that uh, earlier on you shared that you are actually pursuing medicine in in in, in Australia. So uh maybe can you share okay um okay, um what what is your experience pursuing medicine in Singapore and how do you end up in Australia? Um I think mainly if you look at it, it was pretty stressful. You had to not just manage your grades, you also had to manage uh your extracurriculars as well, the right. sort of service that, um things that you have to do regarding like the community and other items. And 
that took a lot of time yeah especially especially in jc when you already have the kind of cost load and even once you get rejected especially in ns when you have that cost load to try and build up your portfolio it can be quite difficult um yeah so when i when i didn't get a place in in singapore i was looking for something for an alternative and australia seemed to be a pretty good place mainly because the schools were of of an extremely high quality as well and now that i've come here like i've sort of seen that the environment and some sort of the stress levels that come with the environment are a lot more chill and it's it's a different pace of life but it's quite different and especially going overseas it gives you a definitely a, a broader perspective on on life and other cultures as well yeah right okay so uh, i mean uh, is <laughs> The competitiveness in medicine has never changed. Nah. It's all along in the DNA. Yeah. Right? You, know, you still need your portfolio. We still need your 90 or in moving on 70 rank points. So, um, so I understand that it has been a major decision for you to choose to retake. So uh, at the point of contacting us, I think it was last year, right? Somewhere last year. I think it's about this time. <laughs> so yeah. have you have you received an offer last year or, or from 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 Australia or it was still like you know still still ongoing? Quite funnily enough, I think I received it like maybe two three months after I joined. Oh okay, okay yeah. okay. But like nothing was finalized yet, so then we right, had to right. still wait. Okay, yeah. so if if I don't re. Will this correct me if I'm wrong? Okay, so if I don't remember uh, wrongly, your grade profile was straight A's with the with, with the exception of your econs in your first attempt, right? Okay, it wasn't an A. Yes. So you actually uh, was contempl actually contemplated and took action to retake A levels for this particular last subject. Okay, and take it as a H one in order to improve your odds. So, um, uh, of going to the local med school, I, 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 is this interpretation all right? Yeah, that was that was my thought process as well. All right, great. So maybe you can share with us, you know, uh, what are some of your what what are some of your decisions or uh, what what prompt you in that direction? You know, uh, is it like you are solely focused on getting to a local med school, and you know. Uh, I also probably would like to tap on your tap on you to share a little bit about your experience retaking in the army because uh we have quite a bit of servicemen there is in our program right now, and they are all you know in the second year of their service. Okay, uh, in my program I'm very strict. I'm very I'm very I'm very certain that I do not take in first year servicemen. So you probably want to share a little bit about you know what are your thought process. You know, uh, retaking A levels, econs in the second year of your service. What are some of the challenge and what are some of the hurdles that you have encountered, and why do you still pursue okay uh, this 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 path? Uh yeah. So I think at the point of my first rejection, I sort of thought about what I could do to make make my application a lot better, and one of it was to increase the rank points. Um especially because now you'd be going in through ABS and along with that, the other portfolio things as well. So that was sort of my, that was sort of the things that I looked at, like, okay, if this, if this can be improved, we might as well go and improve it. Um, and that's, that's what I did for my, for my, in my second year of NS. Um, so what was the second question? So um, the second question was, you know, um, retaking in NS is always, it's not always a right, very yeah. straightforward and, you know, a direct decision to make because you have to balance out your regimental duties, etc. So what are some of the challenges that you encountered in NS and, you know, how you overcame them in, in, in making this direct, uh, this decision to, to retake A-levels? In NS. Right, right, definitely. Okay, so that makes that makes a bit. So I think timing is one thing. I think I, I was lucky in the fact that, like, my busy period was in the start of the year, and not towards the end, or not towards, not in the middle, or anything of that sort. So that that was I think luck in that sense played play a big factor. Um, but yeah, if you're in a combat unit, it can get tiring. It can get sort of, uh, draining to to go through the whole process, but. When, when I look at, when I thought about it from, from my perspective, it was sort of that I've technically already done econs in JC. 
And so I'm not, I'm not going through the full JC curriculum again. I mean, I'm still learning everything, but it is not with that intensity because technically you do know what's going on. And the focus isn't as much on learning about econs because that's already been done. The focus is sort of more on like um, getting you ready for the exam or like making sure that you are like prepped for the test. So I think one of the things that I saw a big difference is that instead of studying for econs, it was more of just doing practice papers to get into the rhythm of of what JC felt like previously and to just get ready for the exam more than anything else. Yeah. So one thing I would say that time management is extremely important. I remember having to, as in after we finished our work for the day, I remember going up to my bunk and 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 doing papers and studying and stuff like that. But, but at the end of the day, I think even if you are like a stay in personnel, it is not, it's not difficult to get stuff down on the weekends and to, and to, and to sort of manage that whole workflow, especially because when you think about it now, it is technically a lesser workload than it is in JC. Right. I mean, uh, putting it, things in the context, you know, because most of the candidates that came to us, okay, they are retaking three H twos and the GP, <laughs> right? Right. No, I, I think yeah. the principle sort of applies a bit because you you've already done the yep. the, the study exactly. in JC. Yeah. But but yes, te- testing will be the will be the testing is sort of your main focus at this point. So everything does become more streamlined. I'm sure there's still a big workload, but right but it does become a lot more streamlined as a result. Yeah. Got it. Thanks. So, um, yep. Okay. I just provided just a bit of context. How, how is it, how does it differ? Okay. So, um, but definitely, okay. Uh, this, uh, serviceman who is watching this, who is, you know, uh, looking to go to medicine, definitely have something to, to pick up from. So especially for, um, just now you mentioned that, um, uh, okay, you have technically learned this in JC and, um, and uh, you know it's just you know it's just getting into the rhythm of uh, practice so uh, i do hear from a lot of servicemen okay who shared that you know being in being out of touch okay uh, uh for two years okay uh, in army and uh despite you know having some prior knowledge and competency in this particular subject okay what are some of the challenges within these two years okay from the point of receiving your a levels and the point of retaking that uh, that you have experienced yourself, and what are some of the advice that you have for servicemen, if you if you have any? I think maybe two of the biggest things that I've seen is just time, time, and the fact that you you don't really have any, or that you may not have as much, especially if you're an NS BMT that kind of thing. And two is sort of I don't want to say brain rot, but I want to say like <laughs> that that atrophy happens. Because you you don't study for for quite some time, especially if you're doing it in the, in the second year, right? And you you haven't prepared in the first year, that can happen. I remember when I we had these mock exams, right? And then my first mock exam, I I I just failed straight up. And then the second one was we I think it was like a like a very high B or something. So it it takes time to get back into that groove because you you are still you've done it not done it for a long time. So yeah, time and in this in the sense where like, you just need to have a good time management um, and a good schedule. And you gotta just plan everything properly. But it does get easier because I I think it I think it was easy to plan because it it really was just practice more than anything else. Yeah. Um in the sense of like your in the sense of like refamiliarizing yourself, that was also fairly quick, I think. Because you do have these first couple of months where you're a bit slow um, to to start off, but then you do get into the rhythm quite quickly. I think once you start to adapt to 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 the changes that you are doing as a result of your of retaking A levels. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for sharing your 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 tips for these uh, NS uh, NS um, servicemen. You know I'm. Recently, okay, I, I mean, uh, this is not part of the uh, the, the pre pre questions that I have for you. <laughs> yeah, but I just want to I just want to sidetrack a little bit. Okay, uh, recently I have a a serviceman okay, who came to me, 
Okay, I mentioned to me, Mr. Teo, I really want to retake A-levels. Okay, I really want to go to medicine, right? Okay, and you know, after after working out for, you know, once or oh, a, a, a couple of sessions, he felt that, you know, the workload, okay, the, um, the, um, the workload, okay, the getting back into the exam moment, momentum, getting back into studying itself is, is actually not as straightforward as it thinks. And he, he, he sort of like back off, wow, 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 that's too much, that's too much. Okay, I'm happy with where I am, you know, I, I don't need to, to go to medicine. So for this particular kind of service, man, I'm, I'm sure, okay, you probably will have heard of this before, okay, when you, when you talk to your friends, Okay, uh what 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 are your advice to them? Or or any any word of suggestions? Yeah, maybe, mm. maybe one one session or one month will not be enough. Uh I know I, I know I definitely felt that the things initial were a bit overwhelming. overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. Think things are definitely a bit over, especially because now you have like compartmentalized time for econs, you have to and the other subjects as well. And then you also have to get used to studying. So that's extra energy off off you. But as as counterintuitive as counterintuitive as it seems, my advice would just be, would be to just stick with it for a, for a while longer, because it, it's just a very steep curve, and once you get over the curve, it becomes a lot more easy. Um, in in other ways, I think what I was very fortunate to have was the support. In that, for example, Mr. Theo was very open to consultations on regarding exams and um, those those lessons. Honestly, the weekly lessons were a very good anchor for me to just attend the classes and to ensure that I got, even if I didn't get any extra work done, I got the minimum work done, which was still quite good. And I had parents and, and, I, and I had good, and I had parents and friends who, who also, you know, supported me through this whole journey. And that was really quite good. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, thanks for sharing. So I think the gist of this is, you know, to to hang in there, okay, <laughs> and uh, stick a little, stick a little bit longer. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and uh, and I think I think a a network of support is also something that is quite helpful. Support, you know, like like just support, like from 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 your teachers or from or from your friends or from even your family, because. It's it's a very it's a very tough time, right? And as plus A levels and everything, so they are there to they are there to help you. They are there, they want to see you succeed, right? So if you can seek help from them, and that should make your life a lot more easier. Right. I mean, and just want to make it clear, okay? Before we 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 had this conversation, okay, this is not a paid sponsorship. <laughs> I did not ask Akash to, <laughs> to, to, to talk anything about ACE or Econs, okay? Um, so aside from the support that you know I have been rent, I have been providing, okay, which are the other support since you brought this up? Is was instrumental in your in your retaking of your A levels? You know, from from which particular source that you thought was uh, was really useful. Mom, oh, de- definitely, definitely, my my parents and my friends. You know, they they. Firstly, I got I got extra notes for my friends, extra resources. So that sort of helped. Uh, my parents were really understanding with with, with certain things. So like you know the I think the month before A level started, I was just in my room all all weekend, and then I was just like doing my work. But then they were really understanding about all of that, and that was quite good. Um, I think maybe for NSMen, but sorry for NSFs, one of the biggest. Uh, things will be the support of your of your superiors, your inject. Because oh, if so, what I did was that I I told my inject that I'm taking A levels again, and if possible, like in the nights, I would like to have a little bit of time to go and study. And he was very understanding about it. So, so that also was quite quite a good thing. Yeah. So I think yeah, communication with with your parents, your friends, your superiors in the army will be quite important as well. Support. Right. 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 Um, yeah, my, I, I, this is something that I, I get from uh, NS servicemen all the time. You know, sometimes I observe, you know, uh, how's their family support. Uh, subtly, you know, I can tell that whether there is or there aren't. Okay, so uh, yes, okay, for servicemen who's watching this, especially if you, you really need the, the support of your parents, you know, you can't do this alone. You know, uh, some servicemen or some who have dropped out who are, you know, trying to go, Try to do this alone. Okay, simply it's not going to work out. Do you have Do you happen to meet any um servicemen who is retaking 
A levels like yourself in the program or outside? Actually, I haven't. There's quite a. There's not that many. I feel. Oh, so do you manage to like you know yeah. have a support support group or not not that strong or? I did have a support group, but it wasn't really like other people who took A levels. It was more of, um, it was more of just my friends in JC, my friends in secondary school who I who I made along the way, who, who were like who were like all, along the same like journey, like they still wanted to do medicine as well. So, that's sort of what kept me going. Yeah. Right. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So, um, to wrap this it, up, it, sorry, yeah, I, sorry, I'll just I'll, I'll just quickly say it. It, it is quite a rare thing to, to redo A levels, but even if no one is doing it, and like I think even if you're doing it alone, it is still definitely doable. You know, like the support doesn't have to just come from other people who are in the same boat as you, but it can come from really anyone, really anyone who wants to see you succeed. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Definitely. Um, and speaking of support, okay. Uh, because we understood that your subject can be, and especially when you retake only one subject. Right. Okay. Uh, the the support that you you need is probably n- not that strong. But let's say, okay, if yeah, it's not as great. Yeah. If, let's say if you are taking yeah. like a, a a hybrid combination, you know, I, I mean, I'm just throwing out random random questions. I'm not sure whether you have heard or you know or you have encountered no, this. I have, yeah. Like you know, some of the combinations you simply okay, cannot find any form of support, <laughs> or some of the combinations that that doesn't allow you to redo A levels. Have you, uh, do you have any advice for, for these people on how they can reach out for, for, for other form of supports? That's a tough one, but I think, <laughs> I think in that case, maybe your best support would be, would be your JC teachers. Right, right, right. Just, just to get an idea of what you have to do for the next couple of years. Cool, cool. Were you in touch with your JC teacher back then? Uh, Quite a bit, yeah, because every every year we have to sort of reapply for med. We need a personal statement. Oh, so so I was I was fairly in touch with, with my teachers, and I think hey, yeah, they, they were also pretty me, supportive. Uh. You never asked for me. I signed off quite a few, like. yeah. <laughs> oh, but did I oh, sign off yours? Yeah, did I sign off? No, uh. I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I didn't I didn't end up applying for I didn't end up applying for for this cycle. Okay. Because I got this, I got I got a place overseas already. So, okay. so yeah, one of one of one of the benefits of having a higher rank point now is that if I do tend to apply for a transfer, that also helps. Right. Speaking yeah. of transfer, because I do know some of the some of the students are so single singular focus on getting the local med school. So um, the purpose of why we have arranged Akash to talk to us is because okay, there seems to be like an alternate route, you know, okay, we can uh, start, we don't necessarily need to start local med, but have you heard of cases or even yourself, okay, I heard that you're also working towards a local transfer, right? So what can you share about this and for, uh, for private candidates who are looking to, for this alternative, you know, what do you have for them? Um... Well, I think okay, if, if you're coming to overseas med, the first thing you have to do is be prepared that you're going to spend the whole period here. Because as far as I know, transfers are really, really rare. I think maybe they accept maybe two or three a year, depending on the vacancies that they get over there in, in, in NUS. I, think, I don't think NTU accepts it. So that's one. Uh, two is that, yeah, um, two is that it's, it's just rare. So you have to be prepared. And... My idea is that, you know, if I can at least get it, I mean, I do want to come back to Singapore at some point. So if if I can sort of expedite that and come back earlier, one of the ways to do that is through the transfer. And the way that, you know, you can sort of bet, better yourself for it, I guess, is making your A-levels a bit higher, ensuring that you do well in your first couple of years of med school overseas, and then just praying honestly because it is it is quite a quite a rare feat but then <laughs> it is it, it is quite a rare feat but then it does happen to some people like i think one of my seniors maybe four years older than me like he was one of the people he he was someone who got in uh with a with a local transfer yeah right so for our viewers out there okay our prayers goes to akash <laughs> okay so uh, <laughs> we you. will sincerely pray for your return 
Um, but you know, your, your dream still came true with, reg- with regard, regardless whether there's a transfer or not, you still pursue something that you love, which is medicine. So really, really blessed and thankful for you having, uh, having you in this particular episode. So if you have one particular message, especially to servicemen watching this episode, okay, if you can sum up into one sentence or one phrase, what is your most earnest message you would like to reach out to them who is looking to retake A levels and possibly you know looking for to to go to medicine you know the first time okay they probably felt defeated or so you know what are, what what is your your most earnest message to them Honestly I think it's don't give up it it's a very difficult journey no matter no matter where you go um uh if if you're doing medicine or any other course or trying to get anywhere else it's 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 a difficult journey and and honestly don't give up because what what I felt I think the first month was difficult for me to get back into the rhythm and then it got easier throughout and looking back now even though I didn't exactly get to where I wanted to be I don't regret doing it because I think it it made me a lot better in the sense where i was able to manage stress a lot better i was able to manage my time a lot better and at the end of the day there's always still some benefit that comes out of it yeah right okay so for the service men who are watching this okay please don't give up okay quote and unquote akash so uh once again akash okay uh thank you uh very much for being part of this uh, interview Okay, I hope the serviceman who's watching this okay, can rub off some wisdom from you. Okay, and uh, for uh, servicemen who would like to get in touch with Akash, okay, do check in with me, okay, uh, especially for students in my program. And uh, I will get Akash consent whether he's willing to speak to you if, if, if you guys have any uh, uh, advice that you require. Uh, can it be done, Akash? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. So, um, 